Yeah, I played some Soul Calibur 6. It's pretty great. It looks um, unbelievable. Really, really nice graphics. And you know all these games that keep nerfing titties? Like, you know, DOA nerf titties. E3's got no booth babes. Man, they're, all those titties are all in Soul Calibur 6. It is crazy. Ivy is outrageous. Outrageous. On screen, she's moving around. No, no clothes. I mean, the, her costume is absurd, absurd. Her, her sweater dicks are like those kinds that you see on those weird pornos. They're too big. They're perverse. Very large sweater dicks. Very large. And they move. And they move like they're augmented, too. You know how real unaugmented tits have their own kind of like you know physics to them they deliberately made them move the way augmented tits move with that like firm type of jiggle you know firm jiggle it's perverse you guys are gonna love it you guys are gonna love it and don't get me started on talky uh let's see here Soul Calibur. So, I wanted to try out Soul Calibur. The first time I played the game was at Strong Style, which was the first build. And it had, you know, two characters. So, this time it had a shitload of characters. And I tried out Yoshi. So, to me, the first thing I noticed when I started moving around and, you know, feeling him out, he definitely feels like Soul Calibur 5 Yoshi. So, what does that mean? That means that things like his legs, his foot sweep, things like that are going to be stubby. His, his, as a character, his height was shortened since Soul Calibur 2. He became shorter, his range was lessened, he uses his fists, elbows, knees, and feet a lot more than he did in Soul Calibur 2. In Soul Calibur 2, um, you know, he was a lot more like Mitsurugi in his range, and the, he had a lot of copycat moves, but since then they've kind of like separated them a lot. So this version of Yoshi, another thing I noticed was every single button I pushed did something that was familiar but different. So for example, 6B I thought was going to be a long stab, but instead 6B is how you do door knocker now. Uh, down forward B gives you, uh, you know, like the, the command list is completely changed. Completely changed. So he's like, a semi-new character. You're going to have to relearn him to some extent. But he seems very good. Like nimble and lots of options. And also, one thing I immediately began to realize was, so starting off with Yoshi, you could see <laughs> that you. he had some rules that were unique to him. So one of them is that he has a bunch of moves that visibly steal their soul. Soul stealing doesn't give you health, it gives you meter. Doing Indian sit and anything else that historically has given Yoshi health now gives him meter. So he wants meter, right? Why does he want meter more than other characters? Because he's one of the only characters, if not the only character that has EX moves outside of soul charge so what does that mean yoshi has his own rule book his own rule set that none of the other characters have what that means is well what that ends up meaning is that soul caliber 6 is kind of like guilty gear or like an anime game what I mean by that is each character seems to have their own subsystem that breaks the rules of the global game. So let me elaborate. Taki, for example, she has two swords. The one that's purple does chip damage. So you can be blocking Taki and she's doing chip damage to you. She seems to be the only character that I know of so far that does that normally without any other circumstances. So this is Taki's little subsystem. Uh, Zazmasol, you know, the black guy with the scythe, 
his little subsystem is that he does certain moves <laughs> that allow Thank him you. to stock up levels of this time freeze that he has. So he can freeze time and, you know, you build that up. And that's his little gimmick. Yoshi's gimmick is he steals meter. He gets meter build and he can use EX moves outside of Soul Charge. So these independent character like gimmicks, I guess, I don't know, they are really what makes this game feel super complex. When you look at the surface of the game, it seems moderately simple, right? No EX moves. You have a meter, but you can only do two things with it. Soul Charge or Super. But that's not the case. It's just the overall umbrella rule. Each individual character may break that rule in one way or another. So it's a very interesting and unique mm, like development direction. You know what I mean? When I think about Soul Calibur, right? Soul Calibur 1, Soul Calibur 2. In essence, I think about weapon combat and I think about what weapon is fighting against what weapon. So you have, let's say, a giant sword versus a nunchuck, right? So the things that transpire in this match are always going to involve a nunchuck and the fighting style that could go with it and a giant sword and the fighting style that could go with that. But... Soul Calibur 6 is not just about weapons. It's about the character's abilities that's holding the weapon, right? So it's not just about the nunchuck. What if it's a nunchuck, but I can also stop time? Or what if uh, it's a big sword, but I can also shoot uh, fucking flames, you know? Or I also have icicles. So yeah, it's a big sword. And sure, most of my moves are going to involve big swords, but I also have icicles and this other stuff. So it's not so much about the weapons anymore as much as it's about the character and their depth as a, you know, like they exist more as a character on screen as opposed to someone wielding a weapon. You see what I mean? It's not just like someone wielding a weapon doing a martial art of this weapon. It's more about, it's more anime than that. Eve Mubarak, everyone. You know what I mean? It's way more anime than simply a sword fight or a, you know, axe, axe versus a, you know, it's not like that anymore. It's way more um, anime than that. And some people are saying, oh, it sounds like Street Fighter V. But Street Fighter V, it's, and I also, you know, I ran into uh, Signia and a bunch of Soul Calibur players. They're the guys that really filled me in on all these details. But I noticed that a few of them were saying, it's kind of like Street Fighter V's V-Triggers. But that really is not true. It's not like V-Triggers because these, you don't have to activate them. Thank you. You don't trigger them. This character comes with this style of gimmick before you do anything. You see what I mean? So Yoshi, for example, first round, you know, you do a couple of moves that give you meter. Before he even has one bar, you have to watch out for, you know, what he can do with his bar. He has really valuable shit too. Very valuable EX moves that no other characters have. Or at least yet. There could be a group of characters that do that. But yeah, it's very similar to that. I, the best way I can describe Soul Calibur 6 is that it's way less about the weapon they're using and way more about the character and what the character's like powers are or gimmick or style is mm. <laughs> between the two Thank characters you. that i tried which was yoshimitsu and geralt i think that geralt feels really good he feels so much more like fast and his range is longer and it just feels like he feels like a good character without any digging yoshi feels like a great character but you gotta dig. The surface is unintuitive. You don't really know what's going on. You don't get it, right? But Geralt, it's like, damn, you could fucking shoot a flame across the room that does chip damage? What? You know, or like, uh, yeah, he's got a bunch of weird shit. He seems solid. Um, 
what's Geralt's anime gimmick? I'm not sure. I know that he can do uh, some moves that have like a tr you know like a PlayStation commands, like the flamethrower. You know, a triangle comes out. I don't really know what it does, but uh, you know, I didn't I didn't dig too deep on all those mm, detailed character gimmicks. But it seems as though every character does have some sort of unique subsystem that makes them independent from the other characters in, in one way or another. I don't know what all of them are, but it seems to be that way. Also, there is a just defense system that they haven't even really talked about. And what it does is, so if you block something, right? You can either block it or you can block it just at the right moment before it hits you and you get a white flash. When you get the Just Defend, what it does is it negates guard crush deterioration. So you won't be guard crushed and it negates block damage. So no block damage, no guard crush. Uh, but... It gives you no bar, and it gives you no advantage whatsoever. So, what you use it for is situations like Taki, when she's locking you down with chip damage, or when Soul Charge is activated. Thank you. Because when Soul Charge is activated, you also take chip. Um, so yeah, it's usable, very useful, very low risk too. Honestly, the environment was kind of it was kind of hard to learn because there was a lot of people there that wanted to talk and i wanted to you know i was there more to like talk to people and enjoy my day and that you know i didn't play as much i was also way more turned up about resident evil 2 the fact that i got to play that was unbelievable is it better than sc5 overall is what better than sc5 overall sc6 that's kind of a weird question. It's kind of a gormless question, actually. Because it's not even out yet. 